Hello, I'm Matt Gell from TheHouse.com and this is Jason Henderson from Burton Snowboards and we're going to walk you through the Burton Beginner lineup for the 2020 season. Hey Jason, welcome, welcome back. Thanks. Hey. Good to be here. Yeah, dude, it's always good to have you here. Uh, we are at the Burton Minneapolis store in uptown Minneapolis and uh, Jason's in town kind of walking us through a couple boards and a couple different categories from the Burton lineup. This is the beginner, part of the beginner categories. Uh, we have the instigator ripcord and of course the descendant. Mm -hmm. uh, they can jump into other categories at the same time, but this is where most people kind of start out within the Burton lineup. What can you tell us about the series and uh, beginner boards in general? Yeah, these are definitely designed, you know, to ride easier. Yes. Um, you know, the, somebody that's been snowboarding for years or a pro rider definitely has a lot different needs than somebody that's just learning how to link turns. Um, you know, with that said, you know, these boards aren't just beginner only. So it's right. not like two weeks down the road, you're going to have to buy a new board because mm -hmm. you've already outgrown it. Mm -hmm. These are killer boards for, you know, for the, you know, for anybody really, but right. uh, they're just, they ride easier and the attributes of them just lend themselves to be easier to ride for beginners. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you look at some of the other videos, you'll see this descendant in the part category, you know, that sort of thing. Right. So um, there's, there's a little, there's crossover, you know, and just by buying, you know, any of these boards doesn't mean that it's just begin for beginners only. Correct. Right. Yep. So I guess just kind of starting uh, with the rip cord. All right. Um, this is uh, the easiest riding board in the line. So uh, it is a directional shape, you know, especially you know, a beginner, you're riding in one direction. You're not you know, working on ride and switch, at least on purpose anyway. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, it does have a little bit of taper to it, so it initiates turns really well. It is our flat top bend, so it's flat between the bindings, mm -hmm. so really stable, but then uh, starts with the early rise uh, rocker to it. So what that does is it gets the contact points off the snow, the board tracks really straight. Right. Um, and uh, it also, has what we call a, uh, an easy bevel on a base profile. Right. So if you were to actually put a flat, you know, flat edge, straight edge on this board, you'll notice that on the edges this way, it actually uh, spoons up and that's all the way around. So what that does is it makes the board um, a lot less catchy, less likely to catch. There's no such thing as a catch-free snowboard but less likely to catch. But the board is really surfy, really forgiving. Right. Uh, it just gets up, on, you roll it on edge, the taper does its thing, uh, right. just turns really easy. Right. Um, and you also look at the personality ratings on the boards, you know, these are really soft. They're easy to turn at low speeds. Right, right. So. And a fantastic graphic, too. Yeah. I, I really like the detail of the red sidewall. Yeah. Uh, you know, little gloss and matte black mm -hmm. stripes on top. It's yeah. a solid looking board. Yeah. Cool. Now, a lot of people get the, the rip cord and the instigator, which is a fairly new board to the lineup. They kind of get these mixed up a little bit, but uh, their biggest differences is one is directional and the other just happens to be twin, right? Um, well, no, they're both, they're, they're both directional. Are they both they, Yeah, they're very similar. Uh, this does have a little lighter weight core. They both have the flat top bend. Uh -huh. um, this one is tapered as well, Okay. Uh, but it does not have that easy bevel base. Okay. So here you go to from about here back it's it's flat mm -hmm. um, but it does have um, a bevel we call it cruise control on, the nose. on just the nose part got it. so um, I guess the body of the board once you get it on edge you know it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a little bit more responsive okay so a little bit more on the um, you know so once you get up to speed it's gonna hold a little better edge mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but with that bevel you know on the front the board just tracks really straight and, cool. Um, or a little so, more sturdy in the tail. Yeah, a little more sturdy in the tail. So uh, a little wider in the nose, a little more volume up here too, even with cool. just the shape. So if you do get it into some deep snow, it's actually going to do flow. really well. Yeah. Cool. So cool. somebody's looking for a cheap power board. I mean, these things are awesome. Hey, hey. <laughs> they ride easy, man. Right. They're t tapered. It's got all, you know. <laughs> So they're they're fun, right? You know that's a great thing about what Burton does with their with their boards. They they build them up enough where a beginner uh, a, beginner, a beginner can use them well. Yeah. Uh, but also they're built up enough where an intermediate or even advanced level rider can get on them and mm -hmm. still really it still enjoy. works. Yeah. yeah. It's not gonna you know right. it's not gonna completely wash out on them. You know? Right. So now this one is uh, I think uh, one of the best value boards of the Burton whole lineup. Uh, the Descendant. It's yeah. A, uh, basically a twin park board um, yeah, so that's softer. It, yeah, true twin, um, which means, you know, it goes both directions really easy. Um, it's not, so you kind of step up from a, a, you know, a flat top, you know, with early rise rocker to it, to more of a, on the camber and the spectrum. This is pure pop. So, you know, camber through the middle. So, 
you know, takes a little, has a little more energy to it, holds better edge, you know, better pop, but goes flat in the tips, mm -hmm. so it still tracks really straight. Right. So this is kind of where, you know, we're, we kind of, we're talking about this in the same conversation as beginner because just like with anything else, beginners are, you know, they're all over the place. There's a broad mm -hmm. spectrum. There's people that are very athletic, people that are, you know, pick things up fast, you know, they're very powerful. Um, they can typically start out on something, you know, a little bit higher end. So, right. or, you know, what are your intentions? You know, it looks like, okay, yeah, I wakeboard. Um, you right. know, I want to get in the park eventually, and I'm going to pick this up fast. Well, starting out on the descendant might be the best place for them. Right. Yes, their first couple days on snow might be better on like a ripcord or sure. an instigator, but um, they're going to be able to progress. You know, they're going to be able to get to their goal with uh, the descendant of being a little, a little bit, bit faster. More. Yeah, faster, better base, you know, and right. a little bit more power to it. Right. And uh, you know, true twin. Cool. So cool. But yeah. These are these are all great boards. You know, the ripcord instigator, of course, descendant again, kind of fall into like multiple skill levels. But if you want to start out riding and have an easy time doing it, jump on any of these boards, you'll have fun. Mm -hmm. And what's cool too, even with the beginners, like the, the channel really lends itself well. Why is that? Well, just because you can put your bindings wherever you want. Right. You can really dial it in, get the, the perfect width for you. You can play around with it. If it's like, ah, oh, it just feels a little wide, you know, you can you know, pull out your screwdriver, right. a couple screws, you can get it dialed into where you want. And um, so, I mean, that's just a, that's one other, one other uh, little benefit we've seen over the years that by going with the channel. That's right. Cool. Well, Jason, thanks so much for uh, being here. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching. Again, these are uh, again the Burton uh, beginner board kind of overviews. Uh, leave a comment or question. Let us know what you think of these decks. Have you ever ridden any of these and what do you think of them? Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more videos there and hopefully we'll see you guys on snow. Peace.